This is going to be a test of all of my bows on Daddario Prelude strings. These strings are worn in. They've been on for quite a while. I'm going to be changing them soon, so I want to do one final test with all the bows so you can hear the sound of the Daddario Prelude strings. Here you go. So this is my the first bow I want to try. It's got black hair, the Mongolian hair, and it's got this whale's beard is the name for that type of wrap right there. I like, this is my favorite bow, so we're going to compare this one first. this bow the most is that it's got the right amount of tension right up here so I can play very loud even when I'm up here it's got less strength down here which is strange most bows have more volume down here and this one's kind of the opposite for whatever reason I really like that so you know I have to push really hard to get volume down here but really nicely up in this range. Second bow. That was a wooden bow. It's a Brazil wood or something. This is the second bow. It is carbon, still black hair, still full size. Here's louder down here especially. But it's not as sensitive. It's not as versatile up in the top range. Everything I play on this bow sounds a bit louder overall, which can be good depending on what tone you want to go for. and the black black hair louder than the Brazil wood and the black hair, but less con less uh, variations in sound. Third I'm going to try is a carbon viola bow. I got a viola bow to see how much louder it will be on the bottom string than it is. to control but it also gives you this kind of darker sound kind of like it's got a bit more bottom end to it and it just it moves in that way less versatile again and it's a carbon and it's heavier it's like a couple grams heavier it's like a bass singer if a bass singer was singing up high and he's like mm -hmm, like, mm, like there's a bit more presence in the bass even when he goes up high heavier handling. If this was a Mario Kart, this would be Bowser. <laughs> we have a three-quarter size carbon with light hair. 
don't use this one too much anymore, but it's nice and quiet. It's very nice and tactile and uh, easy to control. Why use a three-quarter size bow? Paganini used a three-quarter size bow, and full-size bow. He used many different bows for many different tones. It sounds a bit smaller, and it's a little bit easier to control. If you're using a pickup and you really a uh, pickup, you know what I mean, and you really want to control your input level so that it doesn't clip on the pickup, smaller bow helps do that. Same with the favorite bow, the one I showed first. It's quiet and very easy to control the dynamics. So that's the advantage there, especially with a pickup. This is the original Yinfente bow that came with the violin. This one is darker. I, it's not my favorite bow, but it still has a nice sound to it. Very buttery. See how it has less attack? But it's, it has a nice woody kind of feel to it. Like you can hear that it's a little bit more organic, but it doesn't ever give you as much volume as the others. whiskers in the sound. I don't know if that makes any sense. Overall just feels a little bit muted to me. This is the Yinfente standard bow. Um, all of these, by the way, are using the olive rosin. I will, I will note that in the description. I forgot to say that initially. This is the last one. This is a full size carbon fiber normal hair. I'm just reviewing these because they're very affordable bows. <laughs> so this is the last one. It's the full size carbon normal hair bow. So again, this is the Prelude strings, the Dario Prelude strings. These are the cheapest strings you can buy. It's a five string set and this has lasted me for almost four or five years. So after the initial strings, uh, like, like the factory strings died, I put this set on and it's lasted me for over four years now. Very soon I'm going to make my five years of five string learning as an adult video. This is going to be the last video I make with the prelude strings. And I'm also getting these tuners upgraded very soon. So this is going to be part one of my bow comparison and my string comparison. I'm going to do all the bows again on the new strings with the new tuners. We're going to see if it's any louder, see if there are any differences in the dynamics. Thank you very much, my friends. Tune in next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Or I hope it helps you pick some strings. This is part one on the preludes. Cheers.